Unconstitutional. That is what a federal judge is calling Florida's law that denies treatment for transgender minors. Yeah, that law also impacted some adults. And Fox 35's Hannah McKenzie joins us in studio tonight. So, Hannah, you looked into that ruling tonight and have a look at what the judge had to say here. Yeah, I do. Now, we are talking about gender affirming care here. And for those unfamiliar, that refers to things like puberty blockers and sex cross hormones. Lifting barriers to receiving those types of care for some, I'm told, is life changing. A controversial Florida law ruled unconstitutional by a federal judge Tuesday. The law passed in 2023 by Governor Ron DeSantis prohibits gender affirming care for anyone under 18 and restricts access to care for adults by limiting who can prescribe, administer or perform that care, requiring in-person appointments and support letters from doctors and mental health professionals. And then Gives people a lot of hope. A, a lot of hope. Jennifer Marvin didn't transition until she was about 50. Now a counselor, many of her clients are trans youth. This ruling, monumental for them, she says. At least now they can talk to people about it and they can get help and they can be encouraged to. Um, pursue the life that they want to live. It's a battle won in what's likely to be a long war, says Representative Anna Escamani. I do see this as a win for private health care decisions. It's a win to allow people just to be themselves and for families to be able to seek the right medical care for their children. Escamani says there's so much misinformation about gender affirming care and trans issues are now being thrown around like political footballs. At the end of the day, this has nothing to do about politics. This is private health care decisions that families are navigating, and they're complicated, and they're nuanced. Timing is everything. This ruling coming down during Pride Month and one day before the eighth anniversary of the Pulse nightclub shooting. And that makes me feel great to know that there are people out there that are supportive of just allowing us to live our life the way we need to. In a statement, Governor Ron DeSantis's office called Judge Hinkle's ruling erroneous. That statement reads, quote, through their elected representatives, the people of Florida acted to protect children in this state, and the court was wrong to override their wishes. We disagree with the court's erroneous rulings on the law, on the facts, and on the science. And that statement also vows to appeal this ruling. DeSantis was here in Orlando tonight. He did not address the topic. Live in the studio, Hannah McKenzie. Fox 35 News. Hannah.